Hey guys, my name is Liz. Welcome to my channel where I talk about food and restaurants to try. In this video, we are gonna head to the North Shore towards Haleiwa and back to town as we talk about favorite and popular places to eat. The North Shore is about an hour away from where I live and for Hawaii, that is really far. So we usually go there when we do like around the island what we call around the island and this is done usually during the holidays and on certain occasions and to go surfing just kidding i don't surf i wish i did but i don't surf anyways here are 10 things to try when going around the island towards oahu's north shore and make sure to bring cash Number one is Giovanni's shrimp truck. We're starting off in Kahuku and Giovanni is the first thing I usually hit first when we head to the North Shore. The North Shore is known for garlic shrimps. When you hit that area, there are so many shrimp trucks to try. I probably tried all of them and my favorite one out of all of them is Giovanni's shrimp truck. I think I will get a lot of hate from this. I don't know why. Some people don't like it, but I really love them. I love the sauce and the way the shrimp is cooked. This tends to be quite busy because they are super popular, but you get your food pretty quickly. I love to order the shrimp scampi with their hot sauce on the side. I've tried their spicy shrimp and yes, it's spicy, but I don't know if the spice makes it seem overcooked and it dries up the shrimp. So I like to just do the regular shrimp scampi with the hot sauce on the side. Try it. And fun fact, did you know you can order them uncooked and you can cook it at home? I believe they put it in ice for you so that it will be still good by the time you hit home or to your hotel. And then a few steps over is a little corn shack called Uncle Woody's Barbecue Corn, which makes it my number two. There are some days I go there and they are not open. Their hours vary, so you are lucky if you catch them because you'll be able to taste the best corn ever. They are fresh barbecued corn rolled in different types of seasonings. They have three choices of flavors to choose from. The island, baja, or shoyu. The baja is my favorite. It is sweet and savory. Number three is Romy's. Romy's is Giovanni's kind of like rival. People here always debate which shrimp is better. To me, I like both. The thing I like about Romy's is that they have the head of the shrimp included. The flavor is all in the head, guys. If you have not tasted the head of the shrimp, it's worth a try. The downfall for Romy's is that it literally takes about an hour for your food to be ready. Now, if you are heading there and you know you are going to eat at Romy's, you can call them ahead of time for a shorter wait time. Number four is Kahuku Land Farms. This place is so fun to go to. Remember the game Farmville and you would make vegetable and fruit stands? It reminds me of that. They have different types of vegetables and fruits. You can also get fresh coconut juice, which is so refreshing. They also have my favorite barbecued pork on a stick. I usually buy extra for the road. Number five is Ted's Bakery. Ted's Bakery is another one I like to visit when I go to the North Shore. They sell cakes and pies. My favorite is their chocolate halpia pie and their halpia chantilly cake. They are creamy and so delicious. Sometimes you can find these pies at the local grocery stores, but I never found the halpia chantilly cake at the grocery store. This is a great place to buy yummy desserts and you can also take it home. Number six is Matsumoto's Shaved Ice. This popular place is a go-to when you go to the North Shore. If you don't know Hawaii, they are well known for their shaved ice dessert. Matsumoto's Shaved Ice is super soft, creamy, and refreshing. You can choose any topping you want in your shaved ice. 
I usually order mine with ice cream, mochi balls, and condensed milk with the flavor I feel like choosing that day. Usually it would be pineapple, lychee, and coconut. The line is really long but goes by pretty quickly. They've been doing this forever so they know how to handle crowds and long lines. They usually have a person coming up to you to put in your order so that when you get to the cashier, your order is ready. Number seven is Hale Eva Joe's. If you want to go to a sit-down restaurant, this is one of the restaurants to go to. Hale Eva Joe's also has another location in Kaneohe. After your garlic shrimp lunch, you may want to come here for dinner or pack your garlic shrimp and come here for lunch and eat overlooking the nice ocean view. They also have a bar area. This seafood restaurant offers local favorites on their menu with fresh catches and specials. Their appetizers are a must try. Blackened ahi, coconut shrimp, baked portobello, and ceviche are just a few appetizers to try. And if you're not into seafood, they also have steaks, chicken, and ribs. Number eight is Uncle Bo's. Uncle Bo's is a bar restaurant that offers breakfast and brunch. They actually have another location in Kapahulu if you don't get to eat here. If you're coming for breakfast, try their breakfast hobos. It is a yummy taro bread. But if you're coming here for the bar food, which I love, Definitely try the Boca Rota. It's bread with lots of cheese and mushroom goodness in the middle of the plate. They also have varieties of pasta in their menu as well. As we are heading to town, we are hitting the number 9 spot to visit. And I don't know if you guessed it, but every time I come back to town, I hit the Dole Plantation. You definitely need to stop by to try the pineapple soft serve ice cream. This completes my around the island trip every time. This is a little tangy, but it helps neutralize all the oil I have ingested that day. Plus, you get to buy souvenirs. I live in Hawaii and I still love Hawaii souvenirs. Number 10 is Maui Mike's Fire Roasted Chicken. If you love to eat chicken, especially rotisserie chicken, this is the spot for you. They are known for their all-natural fresh chicken. Their chicken is very juicy and flavorful and it comes with dipping sauces. You can choose from seven different dipping sauces. They also serve chicken sandwiches, which is also a must try. They have another location in Kailua if you don't get to come here. All right guys, that is it for my around the island food venture. Of course, I don't get to stop by all of them at once, but I hope you get to try at least one of them and hope that you will enjoy them as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Stay hungry and healthy and I'll see you next time. Bye!